Hey, it's Elder here, and today I want to talk to you about these Furoshiki shoes made by Vibram. Uh, Vibram or Vibram. I've been calling them Vibram since approximately 1991, when I entered the United States Marine Corps, and the soles of our boots were manufactured by Vibram, and once again, I got to trust the name. Uh, years later, I lost a meniscus and ACL in my right knee, and still wanted to continue the active lifestyle and started learning more about minimalist wear. And what I really found out is instead of having technology with all of that cushion that's provided by a lot of the shoes that we uh, see out there in the market, I wanted to rely basically on my muscles and tendons and build them back up as opposed to relying on technology. So then I began to search around for minimalist uh, type shoes and I came across the toe shoes made by Vibram. Once again, recognized the Vibram name, tried them. Uh, they definitely uh, increased what I needed to increase as far as being able to get back to where I was as far as my active lifestyle. And uh, as a matter of fact, even ran the uh, New York City Marathon wearing the, uh, the toe shoes by Vibram. So once again, let's get into more detail about these Furoshikis and uh, I'll share some details with you and find out that maybe this might be a good shoe that you want to add to your minimalist uh, repertoire. So let's get started. All right, so first off, as you could tell, I don't think that these shoes are gonna win any beauty contests anytime soon, but those of you that do know me know that I take function over fashion uh, any day of the week. Now, the fact that these are minimalist, uh, there is a zero drop as far as the heel is concerned. So the level that's here on the front extends all the way through the shoe. There's no rise, there's no high heel, as I usually refer to it. On the bottom here, excellent traction. As you can tell, these are a bit dirty uh, because I've taken them out in the field, I've taken them hiking, I've walked my dogs around with them, just trying to get some good feedback so that I could share it with you uh, in this review. So once again, sole very good to go, good grip, good traction. As you can tell, it almost runs up the whole side of the shoe. The other cool thing about this is that you pretty much get a great fit because it, uh, the way that they wrap around with this uh, hook and loop system that they have with this Velcro here, it, it's very forgiving, all right? And you have this uh, spandex or polyester flexible type material that uh, has a lot of give that uh, once again, uh, those of us that might have uh, feet that are a little bit misshapen for uh, lack of a better word, these are uh, very accommodating. Uh, to say the least. Now these shoes are very well made, so they are minimalist. As you can tell, they fold up super easy in my hand. And uh, what I like about them is I can use them as my primary shoe, let's say for hiking, uh, especially in areas where I'm going through water. Because of this material, it uh, dries very, uh, very quickly. So once again, if I'm out there even in a fishing scenario, uh, certain lakes with rocky bottoms, certain beaches with rocky bottoms, I can utilize these, go into the water, know that I could take them off, they'll dry relatively quickly. The other thing is as a backup shoe, uh, for those of you that like to wear boots while you're out there hiking, and uh, you pretty much know that when you have those little breaks R&R, &R, or especially if you're out there for a two or three day trek, these are excellent to once again fit in your pack because they're super lightweight, and at the same time fold and pack up quite compact. Uh, so once again, just a great feature that they could either be primary or be backup, stage them in your go bag, stage them in your survival kit, and once again, gives you a little bit of comfort, protection, of course, with these uh, good uh, soles that not only give you traction, but they also protect against the elements a little bit more. Uh, even on the toes, they fold up a little bit here, giving you that added protection. And uh, those of you that get bitten by rocks while you're out there on the trail, as we say, um, you'll definitely get a little bit of protection. So they come with this little uh, stuff sack, making it uh, even more compact. So you can go ahead, just stuff your uh, shoes in there, get the other one, stuff them in there, go ahead and cinch it up, throw them in your pack, or tie them to your uh, webbing on the outside of the pack, and once again, you are good to go. So bottom line, if you're looking for a minimalist shoe to hike with, run with, outdoor activity, or even just as a backup shoe when you are out there in the field and want to change it to something more comfortable, uh, take a uh, closer look at these uh, Furoshikis. They might be exactly what you're looking for. This is Helder. I hope that you found this information useful.